What's up guys and welcome to the bonus episode of Let's Play Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. And I want to show off that I have this item right here. This is the last weapon I need to get into the game. Um, basically, you know, that's it. There weren't like a super huge ton of weapons, but that was the last one. It's an alright weapon. It has its downsides and some upsides too. But on here we see we got the Never Netherverse challenges added to the... Uh, list of planets we can go to and that's the only change here so if there was one you wanted to replay or just do a little better you can do that there but the uh thing we're looking for is on planet silox earlier in the playthrough i missed a piece of the rhino and it's actually in a place you sh you know i probably should have found you know i was looking all over and then the moment i start stop looking it's right above my head so we go down to the tubes over here you know, right where we drain the water, we can actually just go through these tubes right over here. And basically, we just want to look over our heads. You know, I thought it was over here, but it actually wasn't, and ended up being over here. So you just gotta go through here. But I quickly wanted to say thank you to everyone who's watched the series, because it's been really nice of you. Because I've gotten a lot of support through it all, and it's been really great to play a new Ratchet and Clank game. But right above our heads, right here, we have uh, the last final Rhino piece. Why don't we pick that up? You did it! You found all the parts of the Rhino 7 Hollow Plan! Just bring it over to me and I will assemble your new super weapon! Okay, so we make our way back over here and we can just talk to the plumber. And ever so simply, we have the Rhino now. And it's as strong as you'd think it would be. We're gonna head over to the uh, Destructapalooza now and try it off, but as you can see here, the uh, purchase, you know, there's no more weapons to purchase, there's no more armor left to purchase. That's about it. Okay, so we're gonna try it out here on the uh, Neftin Progbot. And if we do use it, it actually does a lot of damage. It does a lot of work on Neftin. We could get the majority of his health down just with this. And it's really helpful. I mean, playing through the game with this would make it a lot easier if you wanted to try out challenge mode. I definitely recommend that you get this before you go into it. It would help out a ton. As you can see here, we already have half of his health down and our whole load isn't even done yet. And by the time we uh, run out of ammo, he's already at only a fourth health left. So it's easy at this point to clean him up. I actually used a weapon I got earlier, the Vortex Grenade. And you can see this one just sort of sucks him up into this little circle, and then you can attack him from there. I've heard it's actually pretty hard to level up. But besides that, that's all I have to show you. Thank you guys for watching this episode, and I can't wait to see you guys in future playthroughs. Bye-bye.